Welcome to the Avatar program. Soon, you're going to have a chance to undertake an amazing Navi rite of passage, flying on the back of this powerful animal called an Ekron, or as we call it, a podcast. There are thousands of Disney podcasts on the internet, and this is one of them. I'm Jake. I'm Josh. I'm Jordan. And you're listening to Yeah, Mickey New Dares. Do you know if you play that in reverse, it's Satan talking to you? <laughs> <laughs> Buddy, if you play that in forward, it's Satan talking to you. Josh, what are we doing tonight? Tonight. Uh, we give our full report on a recent trip to San Diego to visit Comic-Con. I stopped okay. drinking. Where was I? <laughs> <laughs> Mickey Mutiers was followed home by a live studio audience. <laughs> <laughs> and <they're> Boo! Really- <laughs> so, so I got to I I I I tell you guys something. Audience? I'm at my house. <laughs> guys, I got to tell you something. What's that? What? I'm at uh, 23 days sober now, Woo! And, and this is probably the longest I've been sober in about five years. Hey, give it up for Josh. Good job, buddy. I'm proud of you. Yeah. The audience is cheering, too. Thanks. It's the first time I've heard it this week. It's all the first time I've heard it. The cheering? Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't <laughs> hear cheering. It's... I just hear foghorns, constantly foghorns. <laughs> well, I say now, I say. <laughs> Not foghorn leghorn. Oh. <laughs> How annoying would that be? What if we had a studio <laughs> audience of just foghorn leghorns? Uh, I mean, just a Jordan, Jordan and I southern... do live in the south. <laughs> True. <laughs> now, nah, boy, I say, I say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I say, <laughs> listen here, boy. <laughs> oh, Josh's foghorn leghorn is getting angry. What was the uh, the southern chicken lawyer from Futurama? <laughs> I can't remember what the actual character's name, but it was like, no, I'm just a lawyer, chicken lawyer from the south. <laughs> Guys, I've never watched Futurama. What? Oh, really? Ever? Dude, it's uh, you're telling me you've never seen oh, oh, one episode overall. of Futurama. I've seen like the first episode, maybe. Dude, overall that whole that whole series was amazing. I know. Yeah. Last episode will make you freaking cry like a little girl. It it got a lot of shit whenever it debuted because uh, it was being compared to The Simpsons. So Fair. like so heavily, but you know after the first season or two, it like really held its own. Where can well, I watch it? it? Is that Hulu? Hulu. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I know what I'm doing after the show. Which is weird. I, I, I It's weird that The Simpsons is on Disney+, Plus, but Futurama is not. But Futurama is on Hulu. Right. But I expected, yeah, but I, like- I, I expected Deadpool and Logan to be on Hulu before it was ever <laughs> on Disney+. Plus. Also true. <laughs> so I was watching the Deadpool movies on Disney+, Plus a couple days ago. That felt illegal. <laughs> Yeah, um, v- Vanessa, or not Vanessa, Seamus asked Vanessa if he could watch it. Uh, f- according to Seamus, it got it got uh, shut off pretty fast. Well, do you remember whenever the first Deadpool movie went in the theaters and it was very blatantly rated R and parents and were bringing will- their kids to see it? Yeah. And they were walking out going, like, wait, you're going to a rated R movie. What, what about rated R is there, tipped you off that like you should whole, bring your, your eight-year-old to it? Isn't there a whole pegging scene in that movie? Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> right at the beginning. It's like a whole <laughs> montage. <laughs> I haven't seen it. I don't think I've seen it since it, <clears throat> since it was uh, first released on uh, streaming. I've only ever seen the first one. I've never seen the second one. Second one's better. Yeah, second one's good. Like, Cable is awesome. 
Like, I guys, I'm gonna be honest. I really don't like the first one that much. It was a fun experiment, but then like the the second one is where it really like got its footing. Kind of like the, the, the Thor movies. The, I, I, I like Megas Negasonic Teenage Witch. She fucking kills me. She is awesome. Just just that dry. Fuck you. <laughs> 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 That's what it's not humor. It's a dry fuck you. <laughs> and I relate to that. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't have it in there. <laughs> Guys, I have something else to say. Wow. What if Tim only shows up once every five years? <laughs> he's he's like the cicadas of the Mickey Mutineers podcast. <laughs> <clears throat> so I was I was uh I, I didn't have anything to listen to on the drive home from work today, so I started to re-listen to last week's episode, <laughs> and I got to the part where the, the friendly cactus was giving Tim acupuncture, <laughs> and it was like, hey, you want me to put some Dave Matthews on for <laughs> And I lost my shit all over again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i did that same thing at work the other day on that same part totally forgot about that yeah yeah that's good <laughs> like guys sometime we have to face reality and we have to admit that our characters might be funnier than us <laughs> <laughs> i mean i, I kind of think dimitri and wall are fucking hilarious they should yeah. they should, they should start a travel series together Oh, sir. <laughs> Boy, do I have news for you. Hold on. You shut your poor mouth. That is a surprise. What is? Nothing. <laughs> Guys, I've been, I've been drunk for the last five years. What's going on? <laughs> five. Sure, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> no, all day, all day today, I've been animating uh, part two of what the heck is Jake talking about? It's Topsy the Elephant episode. Oh, yeah? There's a part where Topsy's holding a <laughs> knife. And visually, it delighted me. So <laughs> that should be out in another two or three months. <laughs> yeah, wasn't 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 Mrs. Jumbo based on Topsy? Holy shit! <laughs> I was gonna wow. say no. Now that you mention it, maybe <laughs> it's. Did, did you hear about the elephant in India that's trampled a woman <laughs> to death? And then during her funeral, came back, grabbed her body from the funeral, and trampled her again. First of all, Josh, an elephant never forgets, and an elephant never forgives. Okay. Like, and this has been Mickey Mutineer is still that bit. <laughs> no, when, uh, when I first heard that story, like, the first half of the story, I was like, oh, shit, that's really sad. So bad for the lady. Second half of that story, it's the greatest story I've ever heard. Team Elephant all the way. <laughs> you, you know what's funny is is a few days before I actually read that story and it, I was laughing my ass off reading it. Then when I heard it on that podcast, it, <laughs> it fucking destroyed me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is one of the crazy just I almost had to cancel my Topsy the Elephant episode and just do that as part two. <laughs> this just in elephants be crazy or smart I'm not sure which I want to know what she did <laughs> she existed that's all it was don't exist around elephants don't don't do that well elephant Indian elephants are known to freaking just like you know just like oh well fuck this village right here and they'll just destroy a whole village just for the just just for giggles, just for funsies, just yeah, for just fun for times. yucks, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just elephants get bored. <laughs> <laughs> they, they just pretend to be kaiju. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have to pretend. Elephants are big. I don't know if you've ever seen one. Uh, yeah, on that that Disney cartoon, it's it's only it's like this big. It's hanging out don't. with a mouse. But it's usually this big. Well, yeah, that's but that's because he uses them to fly. Yeah. I was, no, we got to stop. We got to <laughs> put this in reverse. <laughs> um, now, I was practicing my yes and. <laughs> <laughs>
I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we were yes ending right into some real heavy racism. <laughs> oh, I wasn't yes ending. Oh, no, yeah, I was about right. to start that's... quoting the crows, and I was like, wait, no. <laughs> well, that whole movie is about. I, I still say the even the elephants are about racism because. Because Dumbo's got big ears, so he's an African elephant. The other elephants have small ears, so they're Indian elephants. And the the, the the ants don't like Dumbo because he's got big ears. There's no ants in that movie. Oh, the ant aunts? elephants. Aunts. Yeah. Aunts? <laughs> well, I mean, Dumbo's not even his real name. It's Jumbo Jr. Right. Meaning his dad was Jumbo, which is the second time Jumbo's been mentioned in this. No. Huh. First time. I can't count. You guys, it's time to move on. Okay. <laughs> I feel like we safely navigated that conversation, I think. Jordan? Wasn't paying attention. Good. Yeah, Just pray for the best. <laughs> uh, we, guys, we have a fantastic show in two weeks. Tonight, <laughs> <laughs> we are talking all about Comic-Con and all the no, not all. I can't say all. And some of the announcements, mostly toys and mostly the Marvel panel. And so You know what? I, can can we start with the Ant-Man trailer? No. Cuz we're going to do toys up front and then we're going to okay, finish fine. Fun. With the Ant-Man trailer? Yes. <laughs> so, guys, Wait, are you ready? did they did they release the Ant-Man trailer cuz I haven't seen it? Yeah, I'm going to play it right here on the show tonight. Oh, okay. Excellent. It's going to be fantastic. It's it's wonderful, guys. Okay. Let's talk some Disney. Let's talk some Disney. Again, I just hear Satan. <laughs> Satan Josh Satan's has- got a mean falsetto. <laughs> <laughs> He's a that tall redheaded kid with thick glasses. What do you expect? <laughs> Big curly hair. He's really cool, though. Cool dude. But has a bit of a complex. Just saying. Just Satan? Just, no, we need mm-hmm. to stop. Uh, so <laughs> the three of us went to San Diego Comic-Con over the weekend. Yep. It was awesome. It was beautiful. Yeah. Weather was great. Mm-hmm. <laughs> a lot of people. A lot of people. So many. Josh, did you notice the people? Did you count the people? Yeah. Uh, Nah, most people don't count. <laughs> <laughs> that dude from Sesame Street does. The count? The count. No, I was going to say Elmo. <laughs> no, he, he does not count. But the count, I assure you, counts. But there had to be at least 12 people at San Diego Comic-Con. Uh, 12 or 14, something like that. Yeah, yeah there's dozens. At one point. Dozens we, of them. Dozen of them. <laughs> We lo- we lost Josh in the crowd. I, I was I was uh, crowd surfing. <laughs> they did not appreciate that I did not take the fin off my surfboard, though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's really hard. I was wondering why everybody was it's, doing the wave. <laughs> it, it, it's it's when, when when you're in the wave, though. It's really hard to uh, to get that carve. I I think one guy had to get stitches. It wouldn't be the first time at Comic-Con. It would not be the first time. No, no. I, not since the Harry Potter pen incident from like 2011. But anyway, anyway, lots of booths, you guys. It was fantastic. Jordan did a whole presentation on butterflies. Mm-hmm. I mean, in the corner, like he didn't get <laughs> a panel or anything, but still, it was magical. Oh, I mean, I mean, he had one of those those cardboard panels with the butterflies. <laughs> the threefold block. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's funny. Most of those butterflies were origami. Yeah, I was asked to leave, <laughs> which is really unfair. Right, because, I paid for my ticket. Yeah, there's nothing on that ticket said that said you could not give a, a presentation on the lifestyle of the butterfly uh-huh and i i, I you know I, I did like in the evening i was able to go up the hill to the uh the rocky monument in the park there you know balboa park 
Oh, right. Yes. <laughs> I've never seen Rocky. But I've been to Balboa Park. Yeah, yeah. I've not, not, not seen an episode of Futurama, and you've not seen Rocky? I don't even own a TV. I don't even own a computer. I don't... What is going on? <laughs> <laughs> Live from Jake's yeah. Toaster! It's Saturday night! <laughs> There are no corners in this room, Homer. In fact, I didn't even give you my jacket. <laughs> never seen The Simpsons. I've never seen The Simpsons. Shit. Abort! <laughs> Abort? <laughs> no, Bort. Oh. Don't you remember Bort? <laughs> yeah, he was the... He was the, uh, the... The Simpsons we ordered from Wish. <laughs> Anyway, but in all seriousness, San Diego Comic-Con was this last weekend. It was glorious. We, we had a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> Jordan is going to first tell us about, there was like five toy announcements. So, No, there was, there was definitely a lot more than that. We'll <laughs> blow through them pretty quick. All right. Which, well, uh, which link do we have first? I, I sent you like four or five links with a whole bunch five, of photos. And I just did them in order. So here, let me okay. pull this up. Anyway, guys, it is time for let's do them. Let's do them backwards. Oh shit! <laughs> Gas's collectibles corner, guys. We haven't been to Gas's collectibles corner for a while. Yeah, uh, I'll try to blow through all of these as as quick as I can, just because there were there was a lot. Well, I am so. opening this up. Bop, 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 bop. And yeah, there we go. Look at that. All right. So, yeah. Please. All right. So, can you scroll down a little bit? Yes. And there should be some photographs. You keep going down. There we go. Click that photograph, baby. What one? Just the first one. Oh, agonizing. All right. You should be able to click uh, left and right. Oh, on really? It. I think so. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All who's, right. So who, who's that? <clears throat> I mean. Uh, so I, I, I'm not too familiar with this character. Uh, okay. So uh, San Diego Comic-Con, Hasbro was there. And since Hasbro owns like 80% of our childhood, uh, and uh, they also have a couple of the Disney uh, related properties. They have Marvel Legends. They have Star Wars. Uh, they also do their own IPs with Transformers and G.I. Joe. They also have uh, the license for Ghostbusters and Nerf and uh, Dungeons and Dragons. They own Wizards of the Coast, which puts out Dungeon Dungeons and Dragons and Magic the Gathering. Uh, they and I'm just I'm there's so much more there the, that that they do. But for our purposes, since we're doing a, a Disney episode, we're going to be talking about Marvel and we're going to be talking about Star Wars and a whole bunch of the action figures that they they announced over the weekend, uh, starting with the Marvel Legends. So the, I'm not too familiar with this particular character that is on the screen. I believe the character's name is Riot and she is one of the one of the symbiotes. Yes, Jake. It's Agony. Agony. Okay, then the, that means the other symbiote figure is Riot. Right. So uh, this is Agony. I, again, I'm not too familiar with the character. I, I don't really give that much of a shit. So next. This is also mm-hmm. Agony. Uh, yep. Uh, they are doing a comic, uh, a comic-specific Black Panther. So... They are, uh, if you're watching on the YouTube page as opposed to listening on the, the podcast. Also, if you're listening on the podcast, you should really jump over to the YouTube and see these pictures that Jake has right on the screen here. The uh, link Jake, is in the description. Yeah, link is in the description. Uh, they are doing a comic accurate Black Panther. So he comes with uh, like gray boots, uh, gray gray gloves, and he has his, uh, his Black Panther cape that uh, you see in a lot of the earlier appearances of black panther so keep, let's keep it going <gasps> uh yeah uh i think they called this one old loki or original loki i can't remember but if you watch loki. classic loki okay they're, they're on the bottom okay uh oh that's really tiny okay i can't <laughs> see that uh it's a good thing i wear glasses <clears throat> which you would only know if you watch the uh youtube and not listen to the wait podcast. you wear glasses what link a description you- <laughs> so if you watch the Loki show, there was the classic Loki who uh, who sacrificed himself towards the end of the series. So they are they're doing a figure of that of that uh, version of Loki. Finally, 
I still I feel like they can still do like another ten more Loki's from that show. <laughs> Just Loki's. Specifically the alligator Loki. Make it happen, Hasbro. I got one. I, I got one too. It's at my office. Anyway, let's go next. What is uh, this is one of the figures that's going to be coming out in the Black Panther line for the Wakanda Forever. Uh, I don't exactly know who this is. It's it's a Black Panther, but he's in a white costume. I believe this might actually be an army builder figure. I'm not 100% sure. I never read any of the Black Panther comics growing up, so I'm not – I don't know. Let's just go next. All right. Ooh. Here we go. He Who Remains. So if you watch Loki, you know that the next big bad for all of the MCU is going to be Kang. And we'll talk about Kang a little bit later when we talk about some of the stuff, the film news that came out. Uh, But at the end of or in the last episode of the Loki series, we meet this character, He Who Remains, who is a variant of Kang and is played by Jonathan Majors. Uh, Jonathan Majors very famous for the one season of Lovecraft Country that was out on HBO. Uh, Should have got a second season. It didn't. It got canceled, unfortunately. But I digress. This figure looks fantastic and has a fantastic likeness to Jonathan Majors. And I'm, I've, I've kind of told myself not to buy MCU stuff, but this looks too good to not get. So I think I might be picking this one up. Next. <laughs> Comic accurate Howard the Duck. He doesn't have any leg articulation, which is kind of weird, but he does have a uh, arm and head articulation. So uh, next <laughs> human fly. Uh, this is a, one of those weird, obscure Spider-Man villains. I've, I don't remember reading much about him, but uh, it's kind of like a deep cut. So next. Yeah. Like I saw this. I was like, is that Baxter? <laughs> Stockman? Yeah. Or my cat. <laughs> The the ninja turtle fly. Oh, there's there he is again. Oh, I know yep. this guy. Okay, this is this is this is a big one. Okay, uh, so about 2018 2019, Marvel Legends put out an X Men wave that had a blue beast in it, and it was the the hard figure to find in that wave. For some reason, everybody just wanted this beast, and I you couldn't find it. He he was uh, snatched up off the shelves and he was selling on eBay for 50 to $70 uh, almost immediately. I don't understand why, because he wasn't, he wasn't any rarer than any of the other figures that were in the wave. All those figures come one per case, except one of the figures, which comes two per case. But for some reason, everybody wanted beast. So people have been wanting a reissue of beast. So what they're doing is they took that, that figure They are packing it with some new accessories and he's wearing a lab coat, but they're going to put it on this nice retro card. So it looks like the card from the 1990s X-Men toy line. Oh, cool. Yeah. So I, I already have a beast, so I don't know if the extra accessories are going to get me to double dip and buy a second beast. But right now I'm, I'm kind of on the fence, but this is a big one. A lot of people have been asking for this one. And I think this was Marvel's way of just say getting it back in the line with all these new accessories. Also, I do want to point out: Does he have toe art- articulation? He does. That is amazing because yeah, look at the size does. of those calves. He knows yeah. he's doing heel lifts. So he he's got ankle <laughs> rockers, and then the the toes will actually are on a hinge, so you can kind of have him in a crouching position. Oh, there we go. There's a good yeah. point for that. That is awesome. Yeah. I do like the, he comes with two head sculpts and one of the head sculpts comes with uh, glasses. Yeah. So I, yeah. So I can't decide which, which head sculpt I like better. The screaming one. Yeah. That's good good. One. He has a lot of articulation now that we see so it's, a, it's a good figure. I've, I've got mine like crouching down in front, uh, in front of, I have my X-Men display, but he's like right front and center cr- kind of crouching down. About to jump and pounce. Yeah, that is that is NECA Godzilla style of articulation right there. <clears throat> That's some good stuff. Yeah. I think what's really good, go back to the go back to the one more. So that that picture right there is fantastic because he has the butterfly joints and the shoulders, which you can bring the arms back to make it look like he's about to just like he's either like got the arms flying in the wind or he's about to just kind of come back with them. But you can get that extra uh, 
points of articulation right there. Wow, I might get this figure just so I can play with it. It's good. No, this like if if you find one, like I would get one because it's he he's he he was a hard one to find. And he's back. Yeah, there you go. there's all the hands accessory <laughs> accessories. I like how he comes with an Erlenmeyer flask and a Florence flask. <laughs> I like that you knew the name of the Florence flask because I yeah. did not. I know <laughs> Erlenmeyer. Okay, here we go. All right, so the same thing. Uh, Hasbro likes to do these things where they take some figures that were previously released and they give them a slightly updated paint job and put them on the retro card. So they're doing this with the Scorpion for the Spider-Man wave. And they lighten the colors up just a little bit and they will uh, put him on one of the retro Spider-Man card backs. So it, again, like the 1990s Spider-Man uh, action figure line, they'll they'll put him on one of those cards. But the Scorpion is one that they've been trying to get in the line. Uh, and this one in particular, they, they lighten the colors a little bit. The one that was in the, the standard Marvel Legend line was a little bit of a darker green. So is his tail like? Yeah, bendy? it's bendy. It's bendy. Bendy and poseable. Yep. Gosh, what are you doing? Uh, minding my own business. What are you doing? <laughs> listening, listening to you mind your own business. <laughs> hey, my business is a little loud right now. <laughs> <laughs> Could you mind it quieter? No. Hey, wait, Josh, Josh, go back what? to where you were a second ago. Stand where you were a second ago in front of the screen. Hold on. <laughs> oh, that's weird. I don't know how I feel about this. Take a screenshot. <laughs> how? It's like, hold on. Don't move. Don't move. Guys, this is this is totally worth it. Audio listener. Yeah, Jordan, get back in. There we go. Fantastic. Jordan, All right, got it. Jordan right. I feel you need to like, duck down a little bit. <laughs> yeah, whatever. It's fine. No, I gave we got like, it. A, like a handsome barrel chest. It was awesome. <laughs> yeah, so this is the this is the retro card. Um, so, all right, let's see there what else is. we got. Yep. <laughs> all right, so this one's weird. So they've been doing a lot of these role play pieces. Like you, you can buy the helmets, or you can buy like Captain America's shield, or you could buy Thor's hammer. Uh, they're doing one with the Tesseract. This is a good way to hide the real one. <laughs> and <laughs> you just put it in the middle. <laughs> it's kind of just, 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 the, the toy. Just, just, you know, just some, some random kids going to have the real Tesseract and we'll never find it again. <laughs> it's weird that all those kids toys would come alive or blow up or something. <laughs> well, he just doesn't open it. Right. Isn't it inside the <clears> box? <throat> I don't know. I don't know how it works. <laughs> I don't know how the Tesseract works. Uh, but the this Tesseract actually comes with a Loki figure. And it comes with a Loki from so do uh, I. the television show. I feel like that's the opposite of what things usually are. Usually the Loki figure would come with a Tesseract. Right, but this is but this is a like a, a full size. Oh! Okay, now that I've scrolled farther. Yeah. So there's the Loki figure. Yeah. <laughs> and it's variant Loki. And Loki. It's, it's just, yeah, it's, it's variant Loki. So it's like the Loki we got, but with, without a jacket. So he has a sword. Yeah. On fire. I don't Is that one that. of the, one of the swords. You don't remember that? Was that in Is the that, show? I think so. I think that was like one of the, so like whenever they went up to talk to the, like the three timekeepers and it turns out that they didn't exist. Oh, right. Yeah. Sounds familiar. <laughs> all right yeah we can oh, keep wait. It. yeah keep does scrolling. the tesseract come with a case that's yeah. just the shape of the tesseract yeah it does <laughs> good i'm glad that was necessary well yeah i mean we gotta keep it safe for the yeah. real one okay good <laughs> what is this uh that, that's razorback <laughs> uh i think he's a spider-man <laughs> villain i'm not too sure no he's on the fucking flintstones it's part of the great <laughs> grand Pumba lodge <laughs> that is bebop <laughs> oh man that's pumba <laughs> the grand pumba lodge yeah 
No, yeah, this is definitely I don't know my next much, Halloween costume. Yeah, I don't know much about him, so well, I'm no. not going to waste any time. So is he a villain? Do you know that much? Yes, he is a villain. This dude definitely got the call to be a villain, panicked because he didn't have a costume, and just scrambled <laughs> to his closet and showed up like this. This is why we don't know who he is. What is that? <laughs> okay, is so yeah, so this is right. This is another one of the symbiotes. So yeah, wasn't I, Riot the bad guy on the first uh, the, the first the, Venom the movie? First, yeah, yeah, but it's really hard to keep track of these symbiotes. But I think you're right. I mean that that, that I don't remember. So <laughs> like of the symbiotes, I know I know Venom, I know Carnage. I was, huh. <laughs> yep, white carnage. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even. So this is Sentry. I don't know Sentry. who this is. Uh, he he was a uh, he was an Avenger. <laughs> uh, he had a really interesting way that he was introduced into the Marvel pantheon, <laughs> but I can't for the life right. of me remember what it is. But I do remember <laughs> that it got really meta. Where when they did introduce him into the Marvel pantheon, probably about like twenty years ago. Um, they they broke the fourth wall and made a comic book illustrator part of the comic book story too. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it was really weird. <laughs> what were you yeah. gonna say, Josh? Century used to own a uh, home security system company. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely the same guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. His superpowers consist of. Not being Cameras. able to break into things. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually entirely useless. Whoa! <laughs> what is going on here, Jordan? Uh, I don't know. Something with Ghost Rider. I'm not too familiar <laughs> with the, with that side. Um, also, I think Ra- it looks like Razorback was a She-Hulk villain. Ooh. I, well, I hope that comes around. Hey, uh, this dude is doing the same face that I make when Josh sends me pictures of his ass. <laughs> I mean, ah! yeah, yeah, I, I, I could see why that would happen. Yeah, my flesh melts off. All right, so th- is that, that it for that one? Yeah, that's it for that one. <laughs> All right, we got Let's four do, more links. Can you, go can you do, Yeah, go do the do the other Marvel one. So that that'll be quick because that's just uh, the Wakanda Forever stuff. Okay, that's it's not that one. Here we go. Nope, there's two other Marvel ones. Well, let's just do this one real fast because it's All right. one character. <laughs> it's uh, She-Hulk real fast. And yeah. The reason I'm pulling this one up is because, guys, I am really excited for She-Hulk. Yeah. Well, oh, I'm yeah. sure we'll talk about the second trailer here in a little bit. But they, yeah, we will. But whenever they did the second trailer, they or debuted the second trailer, they debuted this figure as well. So the MCU She-Hulk. It looks pretty good. Yeah, what's your build figure? Uh, it's going to be part of the the next Disney Plus wave, and I believe she comes with Infinity one, Ultron. Yeah, the Infinity Ultron. Uh, I want that build a figure so bad, but I don't want to buy any of these figures from this line. Like no, nothing from this wave is like really jumping out at me. Uh, I'm buying this one, but I do want the. Uh, <laughs> that's a huge bitch. Uh, <laughs> 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 um. But not, nothing's been jumping out at me. But, yeah, I might have to get some from this one, too. The I'm Moon Knight the Moon Knight one was pretty good from that wave. Oh, I forgot about the Moon Knight one. Yeah. That's what happens when you're poor. I need, a, I need money, and then one day I will buy these. Okay, so here's the other Marvel one. All right, so they debuted the Wakanda Forever trailer. Once again, we'll talk about that shortly. But after they de- debuted the trailer... <laughs> they debuted the wave that's coming with the film. And I want to point out something that's very interesting is that Hasbro with their six inch scale figures have been trying to go the plasticless route. So they don't have front facing windows on the boxes anymore. What you'll get is a a photograph of the figure on the inside of the box. And there was a, there was a very big uproar in the collecting community uh, for people who are in-box collectors that display, like they hang their figures on the wall or display them, you're not going to be able to see the figure. It's just going to be, you're, it's just, yeah. And then a lot of people who open the figures were, were, going, were upset that people might be more inclined to figure swap, like open it in the store and put a different figure in there. 
Oh. Or or buy the figure, take out the, the figure that they bought and put something in they don't want and go, go try to get their money back. But uh, the way I am to understand it is that there's no way that you can do that without actually damaging the box and, and having it be unclosable. Like it's got one of those rip rip open tabs on it. Oh, on yeah. On the bottom. Um, anyway, I digress. So if you're an inbox collector... You're not going to be able to see the figure anymore. So, I mean, I don't know. Like, I guess people might still buy it just to say they have it. But as an inbox collector, I will let you know what rash decisions I make with this. Listen, I I don't I don't judge anybody who's an inbox collector. Like, I get it. I, I know that there are some things about the box art that people want to keep intact. That's exactly what my yes. However. These six inch figures are made with articulation to purposefully take them out and pose them and, and stand them up, you know, and get some really like if you're a toy photographer, get some really cool action shots out of them. But I don't know. Like, that's just me. The, these six inch figures are, are meant to be taken out of the box. So that's uh, I mean, because uh, if they weren't, then just buy a static statue and keep that in a box because that's about as good as it's. This is gonna do. Hey, what happened to I'm not going to judge inbox collectors? Oh, did I say that? I, I believe you led with that. Did I? And now I'm having doubts. That's all right. I, 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 I didn't hear shit. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so because of it, and we're gonna again, we're gonna talk about this. Uh, they debuted Namor the Submariner in the trailer, so we're getting a Namor figure, which looks okay. really good. I have a question. Yes. And like, I'm way too deep into this. I, I should feel bad about this, but is that how it's pronounced is Namor? Namor the Submariner. Cause I've only heard to my knowledge. I've ah. only heard it said out loud one time and it's in the misfits song TV casualty. How do they say yeah. it? When he says, I hope they put Prince Namor on the tube. Yeah. Namor, 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 Namor. Namor. Okay. All right. Yeah. Danza got something right. Uh, comic comic trivia for you. He was actually a character before Marvel Comics was Marvel Comics. Yeah, he's old. He's an yeah. old character. Like yeah, I he, know he's, about him. He's an old timely comics character that crossed over. Yeah. Really? Let's yep. see. Yeah, he was uh, back to like 1939. Yep. God damn. When did uh, the original Human Torch come out? Not the Fantastic Four one, but it, it was it was it was in like the late forties, I think. Oh, because wasn't he another crossover? Yeah, he and Captain America. <laughs> so, so it right. was uh, um, Motion Picture Funnies Weekly. Huh. I have a lot to um, say about Namor when we get to. Uh, all right, let's go. We got it. We got to go because there's a lot of Star Wars figures. All right, we're getting. Right. Uh, we're getting a. Uh, who is this? This is a. Uh, By the way, Human Torch was 1939. Nine, damn, what was that, Josh? 1939. Human Torch was 1939. Wow. Huh. And, Cap- and Captain America, real quick while I got it up, 1941. Okay. Wow. Okay. Yeah. All right, moving on. So, uh, so Nakia, she's got a new new look for the movie. She's getting a figure. Yeah, she looks awesome too. I really liked her in the first movie, so there we go. Uh, Okoye, we're getting another Okoye figure. She looks good. <laughs> we're getting uh, Everett Ross, which which I'm pretty oh. sure they just reused half of these pieces and put a Martin uh, Martin Freeman head on it. Uh, I, I I thought that was Arthur Dent for a second. There. <laughs> but it's clearly Bilbo Baggins in a suit. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> huh. It's uh, Watson. Good point. It's Jim from the office. So this is the the Hatu uh, Zaraze, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Again, I'm not too familiar with this character. Yeah, I got nothing. Oh, there's Black Panther. Again. Yep, there's the okay. There's that classic Black Black Panther, and then the build a figure is uh, Atuma. I'm not too sure who Atuma is, but I believe. Um, I'm trying to make a. It's not Atuma. <laughs> joke, but uh, I failed. He's so. an Atlantean. All right, so he's one part of Submariner's crew. Yeah, he he's in the trailer because 
I, the hammerhead shark skull on his head. Okay. So, uh, but yeah, I'm same boat. I don't know who this is. It so, looks like but. he's from Avatar. <laughs> so, yeah. so that's the white wolf. The white wolf. Mm-hmm. That that hat too, to the uh, zombie. Guy. That's weird because in the MCU. Oh the- yeah. So, but in in the MCU, they called uh, Bucky the White Wolf. Yeah. Yeah. So I wonder if they're bringing him in. Oh my gosh, Jordan! There's so many Star Wars. We gotta like. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> okay, are you ready for we're, lightning round? We're not. We're not gonna talk about half of them. So, we'll, like, I'll tell you to skip it just because it's fucking stupid. <laughs> all right, starting with this one. Uh, all right, so Star Wars has been doing uh, the retro line where they'll release newer figures in the old retro style. So things from like Mandalorian or Book of Boba Fett that were released within the last couple of years, but they'll make them as if they were 1970s figures. This is one of those Tusken Raiders, a Jawa. (laughs) Still a Jawa. Uh, Let's see. What is this? uh, I think it's C3PO, but I don't recognize it without the silver leg. Yeah. Okay. So this is the multi-pack. So this is, this is uh, them like all together. So it is C. Yeah. So that is C3PO. And then there's the death star trooper. RGD2. What the hell is that? <laughs> That's RGD2. I'm gonna be honest. I don't really like the retro looks on some of these. A lot of. I mean, if 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 those were the toys you grew up with, those would be the ones. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's that's our two I had as a kid. Yeah, like, yeah like, I bet anyways. Josh gets excited over this, but yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm right. excited over most these days. What was the uh, the Star Wars line in the late '90s? The big one. Uh, Power of the Force. Yeah, that was my. Those were my Star Wars. Toys. Yeah, th- th- those are the ones that I had too. These are the ones I would see at the comic book store for, uh, on the discount shelf. <laughs> Jesus Christ! There's a lot of these fucking. All right, so uh, Star Wars Black Series. Uh, Axe. Uh, I'm not too sure who this guy is, but I I think he's from. I th- he's either from one of the games, or he's uh from. Like an obscure Clone Wars episode or Rebels episode, but he's yeah. he's a Mandalorian. I think he might be from one of the games. Oh no, he's from. Oh no, 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 he's from the Mandalorian. This is the uh, this is the guy that uh, that's part of Bo-Katan's crew. I remember so when her crew. Yeah, so whenever they meet in the in the that pub or that that bar, uh-huh. Bo-Katan. There's Bo-Katan. There's Cosca Reeves, and there's another Mandalorian. That's the other Mandalorian. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. These are the ones I want to talk about. So, a couple of years ago, and for a couple of years straight, uh, Star Wars Black Series has have been doing Christmas themed figures, where a lot of the clone troopers will be just holly and jolly and have like Christmas sweaters on, and they'll come with a little accessory. Well, this year they're doing Halloween versions, and they're doing two of them. And this one is by far my favorite. It is an all black clone trooper with a green skeleton painted on its armor. And he comes with a little Halloween porg. I am going to buy so many of these things. (laughs) (laughs) I will make an army of these things. I'm preparing myself for how much money I'm about to spend on these motherfuckers. Does, does the, does the green skeleton glow in the dark? Uh, I don't know if it glows in the dark. It's one. It'd be cool if it did Two, I bet you it looks really cool under a black light though. There you go. I like the zombie poor zombie poor. Yeah. And look at that box art. Once again, Star Wars, not say not safe from the uh, plastic free stuff. So you'll be getting the no. photograph on the cover. Yeah, this one's coming out of the box. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it looks so good. It looks so good. He's got cut candy bars. Look at that. Look at the ghost. The ghost is Jabba. On the, it, the, yeah, on the I know. I just the, oh, that's so cool. I'm going to, oh, God damn it. I'm going to buy some of these. <laughs> this has me excited. This is amazing. I'm, guys, let's just sit here and bask in the gloriousness as I scroll. Oh, it looks so good. Yeah, uh, it's okay. looks, yeah I've heard. Uh, I think this is, uh, that's already been released. We, we can pass on that one. Yeah, that's, and that's the live action. That's okay. I have. Yeah. Okay. So uh, they do this thing called the credit collection where they take a figure that already existed, repainted it, and put it in a different package. That's stupid. It's cash grab. I'm not even going to talk about them anymore. So let's just keep <laughs> passing through until we can find it. This is a Costco Reeves or a Bo-Katan, Bo-Katan. Uh, credit collection. 
All right. So we can skip through all that. There's a uh, Mandalorian, the Bo- Boba Fett. Fett. Yeah. Can I call him Tuscan Fett? Yeah, there's a bunch of them. Let's just keep. Then that's one of those stupid droids. Sorry, Trooper. And this? then a Mandalorian. Yeah, it's it's a credit collection piece. We know. Okay. I don't, Oh, let's go fast enough. It looks animated. It did, it does look animated. There's a Tusken Raider. Okay, uh, Force Effects Star Wars uh, lightsaber. They're doing a Darth Vader one finally, and surprisingly, it's more expensive than the one that you can buy at Galaxy's Edge. Wow, that'd yeah. be good. It better be. I don't know what Force Effects is, but it it's just the, it's just the name, like like the like the Marvel Legend stuff. It, it's Force Effects crystal. is just the yeah. Uh, gaming, yeah, okay. So this is from the gaming greats. Like these are pretty much exclusive to Game Stops. So if you're a Star Wars video gamer, they're doing a Battle Droid. I can't. It's from um, which one is it? From uh, Jedi Survivor. Oh, so so the upcoming uh, Cal Kestis game. Oh, okay. I was gonna say I've never heard yeah. Of that. Yeah, and then there's another one for uh, a K, a K two unit or a K KX. I think KX. Yeah. I guess they're just called K units. Like the, the those are good ones. <laughs> yep. All right. <laughs> uh, the Mandalorian this, Grogu. Hazard. Yeah, it, it is. It is. <laughs> Grogu is <laughs> getting a singular singular release because right now you can, oh he also comes with his pram. Like the only way to get Grogu with a pram right now is if you buy the two pack with Mandalorian. So this is a Gro- Grogu and a pram separately. Nice. Like, he's already a small toy, and then all of his accessories are significantly smaller. Yes. I don't know what this is. HK87. Yeah, it's from the, from the Mandalorian. I can't remember exactly where from the Mandalorian, but uh, we're getting a Luke Sky- Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker. The Jedi figure. Master Luke Skywalker. Yeah. But... Luke's so this is, this, is what I, this is what I think uh, happened with this figure. So about a... Almost a, a year ago, uh, Has, Hasbro did their crowdfunding thing for the the Black Series Rancor, and it didn't get enough backers, and it failed. That Luke Skywalker was one of the tiers. Like if it had surpassed the funding and it made ex- extra uh, funding, we would have gotten that Luke Skywalker figure with the Rancor. But because they already had the mold in the works, they're – just releasing it for the Mandalorian. <laughs> just like, screw it, do it anyway. Yeah. I like um, we're getting a Mayfeld. Migs Mayfeld, but he doesn't look like Bill Burr. Like, if you look close up on his face, he just doesn't look that good. No, he looks like Wish Bill Burr. Yeah. Boxer looks like Bill Burr. So this is going to be one of the last figures that actually does have a, a window so you can see the figure. What is this? <clears throat> okay, so this is the other Halloween one. This is something that I'm also really excited for. It is a werewolf Wookiee. And he comes with, he comes with the little uh, container uh, in the Mandalorian, where the the client opens up and uh, pays Mando with the best car. Yeah, but it's painted like a jack o' lantern, so it looks like one of the little McDonald's jack o' lantern buckets. Okay, I didn't see this one, and this is blowing my mind. I love this. Yeah. so much. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is good. I don't think he should be eating chocolate, though. I think uh, I think that that's a a trip to the vet waiting to happen. <laughs> Back to some old man fat. Yeah, that's the vintage collection. They're reissuing the the Slave One or the Boba Fett's starship, whatever they're calling it now. So. I like the old man Fett. One of the newest characters is getting a vintage vintage collection. Well, the, no. So the line is called Vintage Collection because it's a it's a smaller figure that has all the points of articulation as one of the six inch figures, uh-huh. but they put it on a vintage card back, so it'll oh. have that it'll have that vintage card look to it from the the seventies and the eighties, uh, but it'll be a newer or, or with a newer figure with better articulation, so. I do want to point out that on this picture of Boba Fett flying a starship down here, it says fantasy scene vehicle does not fly. <laughs> well, and <laughs> I saw this documentary on Disney plus called the book of Boba Fett. <laughs> and that vehicle absolutely flew. 
So I don't know what they're talking about. I don't know who's this. But yeah, there's there's a bunch more. Uh, I I only I'm not gonna go through all the the vintage collection stuff because there's a lot of like stuff in there from the games I'm not too too familiar with, but. There's a, a vintage collection Cal Kestis coming out. There's a vintage collection Jedi Knight Luke coming out. Uh, and then uh, there's a couple of j- uh, vintage collection gaming greats uh, coming out. But right, so there's there's a slew of Star Wars stuff coming out. Yeah. That was a lot. Yeah. So is that mostly yeah, that's, what I, that's I, That's the majority of the stuff, of, of the, the super important solid stuff, so... We, All right, can, I'm just, we can move on. Yeah, I'm just scrolling through the other link you sent me. It's pretty much most of the same stuff. So, yeah, I don't know that. We'll, we'll move on. That was Gas's Collectibles Corner. Jordan, thank you for Whew. throwing that off. <laughs> How, how's your throat? That was a lot of talking. Yeah, I'm good. I'm gonna tag the. Sh- I'm gonna tag the shit out of that for uh, tagging toy reasons. Oh, son of a. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Tried to pull up the anime trailer and it seems to be blocked. I don't think it was supposed to get out. No, the anime trailer? trailer? Yeah. The one I sent you? Yeah. Huh. Hold on. It's, it's got to be somewhere. No. <laughs> anyway, so moving right into movies. Uh, the uh, what was that movie called? No, not movie panel. The Marvel panel at San Diego Comic Con 2022. Guys, that was a lot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like, uh, what I, I on the uh, Marvel Studios Reddit, they did a pretty much point by point comprehensive list of everything in order that was going down. And I'm trying to pull that up right now. I'm really excited about the Hitman trailer. Josh, you want to double yeah. check that? Check check that text you sent me. Make sure I'm not um, missing out or something. Fuck's your name? <laughs> and I'm Jake. <laughs> Let's see. Man, I can't find a um, comprehensive list of everything that happened. Oh, no, this, I, this lack of Ant-Man has really thrown me. I'm sorry, guys. I'll find it. Keep keep going. Okay. I think the, the one thing about Ant-Man that's exciting me is that they confirmed that MODOK is going to be an Ant-Man. <laughs> it, that, it, it, is it going to be uh, MODOK from the cartoon? <laughs> I hope so. God, that cartoon was so good. I watched, that, I that watched car- an episode of that. That cartoon, episode two of that cartoon has like one of the funniest lines I've heard in the show. Um, it? It, Modoc and his wife are separating, so they're splitting their stuff. And uh, one of his kids, <laughs> one of his kids looks like him and one of his kids looks normal. <laughs> <laughs> and they're, they're, they're flipping through uh, his old binder of CDs. And he goes, Hoobastank? What's Hoobastank? And Modoc goes, Hoobastank, they're like the Beatles of the early 2000s. And then the kid goes, who are the Beatles? And he goes, who are the Beatles? They're the Hoobastank of the 1960s. <laughs> I hated Hoobastank. <laughs> See, here's the problem I have is I keep forgetting that I have Hulu. Uh-huh. And so like when things are like I watched the first episode of, of Modoc. It was good. Yeah, it's very good. I'm bummed it didn't get a season two. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll i just slowly watch season one and enjoy it for what it is. Anyway, since I can't find this list, I'm going to have to wing it. So they announced basically the next two and a half phases of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, which kind of blew my mind because up until Saturday, I thought we were all in on phase four. Like I thought fantastic four was going to be the last movie of phase four. Come to find out fantastic four is the first movie of phase six, which what? (laughs) Right. So Ant-Man's going to be the first movie of phase five. 
Yes. And they and said that the, the final move, the final uh, film of phase four is going to be Wakanda forever. Correct. Which comes out in November. Like that's the next Mar- Marvel movie, right? Yeah. Yeah. Theatrical. Not, not far at all. Wow. Phase four wrapping up already. Yep. I feel like phase four was the pandemic phase. Phase four was the pandemic phase. That was 21 to the end of this year. Yeah. Which, and a bunch of them would have started filming like right in the middle of that. Mm hmm. So, some of them were already filming when the pandemic hit. Yeah. Black Widow was one of them, right? Yep. Um, n- no, I think I think that had wrapped. Oh, but I think I but, think WandaVision and WandaVision and Falcon and Winter Soldier were affected by that. Right. But what yeah. Black Widow got delayed because of the pandemic, like the actual yeah. release. Okay, now it's coming. I it's coming back trailer, to me now. I think that trailer's gone. Yeah, I couldn't find it. So should we just spoil it? Yeah. It was so <laughs> it was it was really good because it, it had the Ant Man and the Wasp Quantumania title, and then it faded into the Mac and Me clip. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, Jeremy sent that to me yesterday. <laughs> oh, I sent it. I sent it the group. Did I send it the group text? Uh, I don't. I don't know. Oh yeah, here it is. Dude. Oh, it was in the group text. Yeah, I found it. Well, too late now. We blew it. Anyway, so yeah. now I have. Here's yeah, it's, it's it's still it's still live. Damn it! Well, now it's over. <laughs> Joke's dead. Phase five. So phase five kicks off with Ant Man and the Wasp: Quantum Mania. That's in February, and then that will be followed by Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three, which at the panel they had the entire cast come out. It was a little heartfelt. and not going to guess there's going to be the happiest of endings for this one because the James Gunn mentioned something about all stories coming to an end. So I don't, I'm excited for that one, but cautiously, cautiously excited. And then Blade, nope, back up. After Guardians of the Galaxy 3 is The Marvels, which I'm super excited for, but that's because I have a Captain Marvel bias. She's my favorite. And now Miss Marvel true. is right up there with her. Which did you guys finish Miss Marvel? Yes. Josh? Josh isn't gonna, even gonna finish this episode. <laughs> 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 well, just in case. Josh, can you hear me? <laughs> nope. Anyway. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> so the Marvels is coming out. And, yeah, like I said, super excited for that. After the Marvels is Blade. Uh, that's probably the one I'm the most interested in because Mahershala Ali is going to be Blade. Yeah. And I think we'll get a little bit of payoff to that ending in Eternals with uh, Kit Harrington. Oh, I was like, what does Star Fox have to do with Blade? The other ending of Eternals. Gotcha. Where the fuck did you get Star Fox from? Thanos' brother? Harry I Styles? Think- his name is Star Fox? Yeah. Oh, shit. And I said Star Fox because it's easier to remember. I can't remember the character's actual name. But, like, his superhero name is Star Fox. Oh, interesting. Which, that's not going to be confusing to nope. fans of Nintendo. Nope. <laughs> but, yeah, I forgot about that that other one. I feel like Phase 4 really expanded the... Uh, <laughs> the cast sheet for everything yeah and then so after blade which put a pin in that because after blade is captain america new world order nope uh, uh, what nope nope what nope you you jump like two or three. Oh, i'm going off the, uh, the wikipedia list what did i miss no i'm i'm, I'm oh, going the picture. on the picture uh, oh i was i was just doing the uh the movies the theatrical movies oh no 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 we're 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 Jumping into so it's let's start over then Ant Man Quantum Mania, <laughs> then it's Secret Invasion, then it's Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three, then it's Echo, then it's Loki Season Two, then it's the Marvels, 
then it's Blade, and then it's Ironheart, which, which will be which will be uh, the the new Iron Man, the person who takes up the mantle as as Iron Man. And she's getting her introduction in Wakanda Forever. Okay, good. That's she cool. was in the trailer. She was in the trailer, wasn't she? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Super excited for that. Literally pounded out an iron heart under the floor. All right. So this one, this one, I have a controversial opinion on this next one. So, so Agatha Coven of Chaos. I'm 100 percent for uh, an Agatha Harkness series, especially with that actress because yeah. she was fantastic. She was yeah. highlight of Wandavision for me. But I'm afraid that, and if anybody can pull it off, it's going to be Marvel. But I'm afraid that, be like, it was shoehorned in there because she was so popular. She's like, oh, let's give them more Agatha Harkness, just and just tossed in there. I'm like, okay, that's fine. But I feel like at some point you had a plan, and then you you just kind of plucked her in there. So I hope, <laughs> I hope for the bigger picture, like it, it like. The fact that she was shoehorned in there, I hope the sh- her show doesn't suffer for that because she deserves to have a great show. Yeah, I hope there's a story to tell. Yeah. And then the thing that got the biggest pop uh, in, in the hall whenever they were debuting, because everything was popping up on the screen one at a time. Right. Uh, the one that got the biggest pop was another or a new season of daredevil that's 18 episodes yeah, yeah. I cheered. holy like, shit like 18 episodes i'm i'm kind of excited i am incredibly excited for that because as much as i was making fun of daredevil a couple of episodes ago <laughs> it was last week that first season of that first season of uh of daredevil is awesome oh it's it's one of the mcu best <laughs> yeah and so before we even get into Daredevil, like the actual new series, he's going to be in She-Hulk. Yep. He's going to be in Echo. Yep. And then he's getting his own series. He's also going to be in the Spider-Man animated show that they're doing for Disney Plus. Right, the the freshman year, and he was yeah. obviously also it, in it, the way home. And is it is it going to be Charlie Cox voicing him in the yep. animated one? Yep. Nice. So. I feel like Daredevil is Charlie Cox's calling because mm-hmm. he loves the character. He's freaking phenomenal at it. Yeah, oh, he's yeah. really good at it. Right. It, it, and then we have Captain America New World Order. I feel like Feige threw some shade on this one because a couple of weeks ago, did you see the Hollywood Reporter article? No, They're what was it? Super controversial and super douchey. Uh, they announced that you know there was going to be a Captain America 4, which we all knew if you watched the end of Falcon and the Winter Soldier. But uh, in the article, it said something along the lines of they were unsure whether or not Sam Wilson would reprise the role of Captain America. And everyone was like, what? The, did you watch the show? Like, there was an entire show about this. Like, it was basically Hollywood reporter going, I don't know. I don't know if he's going to be Captain America. And it got to the point where Chris Evans tweeted. He just tweeted out, Sam Wilson is Captain America. <laughs> Yeah, I, I did see that. I didn't know what it was in reference to. Oh yeah, yeah it was it was a big hubbub, and completely unnecessary. It was a little it was a little tone deaf in my opinion, in huh. a lot of people's opinions. And so on stage when they announced this, I can't remember his exact words, but Feige came right out saying Sam Wilson absolutely will be reprising his role as Captain America. And everyone lost their minds, and it was awesome. And then back to what I was saying about. Um, in phase four, all these new characters being introduced. The last, well, according to this, the last movie so far, phase four, is the Thunderbolts. Which. It's kind of like the Marvel version of Suicide Squad. <laughs> oh, I, I, I thought it was those, those puppet characters from the 60s. Yeah, it's a Marvel movie, but they're all marionettes. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was the Thunderbirds. Right. What did I say? <laughs> no, nah, it's fine. We'll go with it. <laughs> so some character in the movie is going to be like, what are we, some some kind of Thunderbolt squad? No, that doesn't work. Nah. <laughs> but so that's where I'm guessing, because not a lot of details have come out on this, but I'm guessing that's where the John Walker character and Yelena and um, whatever happens to the Abomination guy mm-hmm. in She-Hulk – 
I'm guessing they're all going to come together into this one. And Elaine, I forgot her name. The uh, one putting it all together. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's Elaine. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> yeah, it's Elaine. <laughs> putting the team together. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm really interested in that because it's like the big team up movie, but it's the bad guys. Mm-hmm. Or quote unquote bad guys. It's going to be cool. Anti heroes. Yeah. I feel like I feel like Marvel pulls off anti heroes a little better than DC. Marvel pulls off a lot of things better than DC. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of San Diego Comic Con, l- 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 like like <laughs> like movies. <laughs> also, yeah. Uh, also, <laughs> but the the, the, the DC cartoons, the DC cartoons are pretty good though. Oh, DC cartoons are great. I will give you that. So that was. That was phase five, and then we only got the three announcements for phase six, right? Uh, uh, so far, there's there's going to be more because the because D twenty three is coming up and New York City Comic Con is coming up. Oh shit! Yeah, I didn't know D D twenty three was this September. Yeah, this year. So, because because the whole time I was like, okay, when there's got to be, like, they're gonna start filming Deadpool soon. And Wait, we have what? no announcement on that. They are? Yeah. I, I didn't realize there's going to be another uh, um, Deadpool. Oh, really? Yeah, no. Deadpool 3 has been confirmed. Hmm. Oh, so they have the script and the, or the screenplay. They got the director. Well, I'm fully expecting them to announce an X-Men at some point, just because we've had, we've now have two mutants. Right. Uh, we've, I mean, technically, we've seen three. <laughs> One didn't last long. Wait, what? What am I missing? Are we talking about Professor X? Yeah. Okay, good. And then, ho- hold on, Josh, you can hear us now, right? Yeah, yeah. Did you finish Miss Marvel? Uh, yeah, kind of. I, I kind of fell asleep during the last episode. Because what we're about go. to say is super important. Okay, go ahead. So, Miss Marvel being the first mutant... In the nope. MCU? Nope. In the MCU? Nope. What? Nope. Who was before her? Wanda. But... Did you yeah, not watch WandaVision? She had her powers before the Tesseract. Right. Okay. The first mutant labeled in the MCU. Can we go with that? I mean, if you want to split hairs. <laughs> oh, I'm splitting well, hairs. I thought, I thought Miss Marvel was... In human her powers came from that band thing. Yeah, but her mutant powers were what allows her to control it. Oh. So okay, I'll, I'll give you Wanda. That does make sense because everything. Well, I mean, what, I mean, Mag- Magneto's Magneto's her dad. So not in the MCU. Shut up, Meg. <laughs> <laughs> and now the third one. I'm guessing Namor's a mutant, right? Or was he retconned to be a mutant? I, I just thought he was a uh, Atlantean. Uh, yeah, he's like, uh, I, I don't know. He's so old. He has a lot of backstories. So, yeah, the whole time I'm waiting for some sort of mutant announcement because they seem to really be with the two Deadpool movies and Logan coming out on Disney Plus. Uh, the mention of Miss Marvel being a mutant and the. Uh, X Men '97 cartoon coming out, and the classic X Men theme song that they keep pumping into their stuff, like Multiverse of Madness and Miss Marvel. There's really, I feel like there's a wall being pushed on, and behind that wall is just mutant news pushing on it. And the last movie of Phase Six is going to be Secret Wars, and in the Secret Wars comic, mutants play a huge role in that. So it's got to be coming, right? Has to be. I uh, yeah. yeah. I'm, maybe that's what they're pulling off at New York Comic Con and D23. Maybe that's what they're holding out on. Because like we said, there's only three movies announced for Phase 6. And mutants take a huge role in that. Okay, now let's go back to Wakanda Forever. Let's, r- let's wrap it up on this. Because holy shit, you guys, that looks so good. First of all, yeah. I'm excited about... I thought Namor was going to be in the Illuminati and Multiverse of Madness. I thought that was going to be an interesting introduction. Mm-hmm. It was not. And then coming full force in the 
Wakanda Forever trailer, I was always wondering how they were going to differentiate him from Aquaman in the in this modern age. And going the Mesoamerican route, I did not see that coming. I'm, I'm, I'm perfectly fine with it. Oh, yeah, it's an amazing design choice. I, I'm super excited to know his backstory on this and why. And He's got the little wings on his ankles. I'm guessing he can fly. I mean, in the comics, he can. I think so. Because, like, in the trailer, I've watched the trailer quite a few times now, and it shows that baby being born. It's him because it has little baby wings on his ankles. It's adorable. Yeah, that makes sense. And so, but just the whole... Guys, the Wakanda tra- Forever trailer might be one of the best trailers I've ever seen. Like, with the music choices going from No Woman, No Cry into uh, the Kendrick Lamar song. It's a good one. Oh, mashed up so perfectly. The emotions were there. I'm super excited for this one. Yeah, and, yeah, pretty stoked. However, one concern, not with the movie, but with the fan base, is I can already <laughs> see people digging the hole that we keep digging that we dug in Loki and WandaVision and all these other things where their theories are coming out now and who's going to be the next Black Panther and half the fan base, half, excuse me, half the toxic fan base is going to be super disappointed no matter who, what it is. Have you guys been following that at all? Like, some I try want- not to, I try not to. Yeah, I, I don't I have, show. yeah, I don't have the energy for that shit anymore. <laughs> Cause it is exhausting. I mean, I'm already concerned about the Nazi at the gym. <laughs> That's fair. That's a real villain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and a, a good concern. Like, that, that is a concern you should have. Very valid. <laughs> but, well, I mean, <laughs> is, it, is it really illegal to punch a Nazi in the throat? Unfortunately. I mean, I would give you a pass. Me too. What what is that noise? Sorry, that was my phone. Well, <laughs> I heard voices. I just want to make sure I wasn't going crazier than I already am. <laughs> but yeah, so, I, it, Shuri's gonna be Black Panther now, right? We'll see. I mean, isn't that the 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 the, the strong rumor? I mean, I'd be fine with her taking the mantle. I'd be fine with Lupita Nyong'o's character taking the mantle. That's pretty much where my list stops. <laughs> Who, whoever, look, I feel like I was burned by Game of Thrones. Like, I just don't want to be disappointed. If, what if it was Winston Duke? I, I think I'd be fine with that, but they'd yeah. really have to explain why the the rival tribe got the power. Well, he wasn't the rival tribe at the end of the movie. That's true. Okay, well, there you go. Yeah, I, feel, I feel better about it already. So... Huh. Donald Glover and his brother Stephen made uh, a lot of the contributions to uh, Shuri in the first Black Panther movie. What does that the mean? Character. They they, oh, they wrote the, they they wrote a bunch of shit for the character. I didn't know that, and I've learned something here tonight. Hmm. Me too. So, I think that's all I have on Comic Con announcements. I'm really excited for. Literally everything coming out. Yep. Like nothing announced. So I was like, eh. I, I, okay, here's what we're going to do, guys. After the D23 announcements, we're, we're going to do a top four. Okay. <laughs> like top four, phase five and six things to be excited for. Okay. All right. All right. right. Giuseppe, write that down. Got it. All right. He can't write, you guys. He has no hands. It's weird. <laughs> Wait a minute, what happened to his hands? Lemurians. Hmm. All right, say no more. (laughs) So I think that's where we're going to wrap up this episode. Hey, I'd like to thank Josh and Jordan. (laughs) For being here tonight. (laughs) I mean, do I really have a choice? (laughs) No. (laughs) And Jordan especially didn't. I did not. Anyway, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of this madness every two weeks. 
Speaking of which, two weeks from now, our next episode will be a Mutineer Disaster Hour. So buckle the fuck up for that one. I don't know what we're doing, but... Wait, that, that was your one for the year? You're using it now? I, I gave up on that. Oh, okay. I'll say fuck all I want. <laughs> Yay! I just don't want to very often. No. <laughs> if, <laughs> if you hold on to them and only use them at the right time, it's like... It's like I go I go the PG thirteen rule. Every episode I'm allowed one, but not in a sexual way. <clears throat> Even though I just use it twice. So hey, welcome to our R rated episode. I don't know if anyone else. But, I, but but I say fuck a lot in this movie. Oh. Is this a movie? Where are we filming? I forget. <laughs> Live studio audience? They booed. Again. Yeah, that'll happen. They do when I open my box of cereal in the morning. It's really irritating. I don't like it. God, that'd, anyway. be, that'd be the best fucking soundboard ever. Just connected to your cereal box. <laughs> open it. Boo. <laughs> fucking. But, but when you pour the milk, everybody cheers. Unless you're one of the guys that pours the milk first and the cereal second, then everybody still boos. I bet that guy at the gym pours milk first and then cereal second. That guy at the gym probably puts Mountain Dew in his fucking fruity pebbles. All right, I gotta go. (laughs) 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 uh, Hey, you can find links to our merchandise and Jordan's YouTube channel in the description below. Uh, If you've enjoyed us, we are the Mickey Mutineers, and if you hated this whole thing, we're the guy at Josh's gym. (laughs) An elephant never forgets, and an elephant never forgives.